this business, this, this world is constantly evolving and getting better and better. And that as wonderful as some of the things that have been happening in the past have been, the future just looks extraordinary. Nolan Bushnell, one of the founding fathers of the video game industry, talks about the early days of gaming, starting Atari, the Pong controversy, and what it takes to be a true innovator. The more revolutionary the idea is, the fewer people will think it's cool. Remember that. When the airplane was invented, the Wright brothers, Everybody thought it was a toy of whimsical things, even cars, the telephone. Why would I want to talk to somebody that I couldn't see? Some of the best game ideas I've ever had that have turned out to be monster successes have had nobody want to buy in on it. Actually, Breakout was one of them. None of my regular engineers want to do it. And so I pushed it off onto jobs. So we had to out-innovate. And so we created this innovative infrastructure that uh, Steve Jobs picked up on and, and took partially to, to Apple. And really, the Silicon Valley ethic, I think, had a lot of this thing. And my prescription in the book is how can any company increase their creative quotient? And if they do that, they too can be as big as Apple Computer or some of the other great So how can they increase their creative quotient? Is it having a workplace with uh, ping pong tables and nap rooms like we have upstairs here at AOL HuffPost? Is it, is it hiring the right people? What, what, what is the strategy that you learned from your years? The most, uh, those are all things that are good, but the most important thing is to say yes. If I were to look back and talk to my kids and say, who founded this business, who made this business the reality that it is, it is absolutely categorically Nolan Bushnell. You know, life is interesting as you want to make it. And too many people just decide to sort of settle. As long as you're not willing to settle, you can constantly be pushing the envelope. And you need to be a really, really good beginner. Everybody who's ever had a shower has had a good idea. Do you own that idea? No. Is it your idea? No. You don't own an idea until you work on it, until you fine tune it, until you research it. Anybody who says, he stole my idea, is a fool. If you had an idea and you didn't do anything on it, You're lazy. Success does not follow ideas. Success follows hard work. What is one of the characteristics that made Steve Jobs successful? He was creative, but you know what else was really important? He was a very, very, very hard worker. How many of my employees did I find sleeping under their desk when I came in earlier? on a Monday morning. Not many. Did he kind of smell bad? Yeah. That's because we didn't have showers. And if you didn't go home for two or three days, you can get gamey. Turns out that you're maximally happy when you're stressed right up to your edge, and it's really hard, but you can just do it. Kind of like leveling up in video games. That's why video games are so addictive. It's because they're happiness engines. You are really, really happy when you're completing this level. What's going to happen tomorrow? What are the really cool things that are going on? Well, I believe that every, anything that has totally been done before and is no longer done, should be done again. I believe that things that have never been done and that you think of 
and they sound crazy, you should definitely do. Education is going to change massively in the next three years. And everybody said, impossible, impossible. And I think that what we're really going to see is a explosive destruction of education of the last 20 years into the future. We've had a building need for better educational outcomes, better efficacy, better use of money, what have you. We are in the middle of a perfect storm. The other part that is really a problem is we're training out creativity. And it turns out that the next big wave of, of issues is going to be more about creativity than academics. I mean, I struggled and I learned how to do partial differential equations. I've never done it s since. And the internet will do it for me very quickly. But what happens is that Creativity is where the next big area, solving problems, fixing things in unique ways, that's where the magic is. I also believe that there's going to be games for health. And there are a lot of sensors that are going, coming along. And when Mario is running around, getting hit and pulvered and that sort of thing, you see his health running down. Well, wouldn't it be interesting if you played a game and if you played it properly, your health would actually start to get better over time? So now the score is your actual blood workup and your fitness and your metabolism. Now remember, one of the messages that I always told Steve, I said, Steve, if you come up with an idea and 99% of the people think it's a crazy idea, and 1% think it's a cool idea, and that 1% is you, pursue it with all vigor. A lot of times people want to be entrepreneurs, but they're kind of looking for a block because they don't want to really face their dreams. They don't, oh, I. I'm going to be a hugely successful entrepreneur if I could just get somebody to raise money for me. Yeah, there's that if only statement, right? Yeah. Which becomes a crutch. Or it's, can it's, become a, a crutch. it's a crutch. Yeah. And uh, Atari started with $250 of paid in capital. Actually, it's 500 250 from me, 250 from my partner. And that's all the money that went into the company until we got venture capitalized. We got some, I think we raised $3 million. My blessing has been that I have a worldview that is very different. I think about things differently, and I think I solve things in unique ways, and I think that I have enough self-confidence to pursue true innovation.